Today for Mousetrap Monday, I have something a little different to show you. People have asked in the comment section if I could invent my own mousetrap, what it would look like. I came up with several really unique designs and in this video, I'm going to share one of those with you. Now throughout history, people have invented many different styles of mousetraps. There's over 4,000 patents, lots of ways of catching and killing mice. I guess the same is true. If you build a better mousetrap, the world will come knocking at your door. There's new mousetraps coming out all the time. Now in some cases, people invent traps that are designed to catch and kill as many mice as possible. And in other cases, people come up with something a little different that appeals to the humans buying the traps more than focusing on how well they work. And one way they've done that throughout history is turned to nature and got inspiration from the natural predators of rodents. Here's a trap from the 1800s called the Eagle Claw. It simulates the talons of a raptor. It comes down and catches those mice. It does work, it's a unique design and definitely inspired by an eagle coming down and grabbing that mouse. Now people also know that cats catch mice and in several cases people have invented a cat shaped mouse trap. This one's called the Kitty Gotcha. It doesn't work the best but it's really valuable because people like the cat face. Here's a more recent one called Black Cat. It has big teeth and a cat face on there. Now I thought one of the coolest predators of mice are snakes. They'll catch and eat mice whole. So why not invent a snake-shaped mouse trap? And I came up with this. Here's a rubber snake I bought on eBay. It has a big mouth here. And what I'm gonna do here is I have a vintage all steel mouse trap that will fit right in its mouth. It has little metal jaws. The mice come in, step on the pad, come slamming down. Now we can completely conceal that inside the snake's mouth. Wrap that around, set it up, and then we'll have mice come up to the snake, stick their head inside the mouth, and get caught. Now I'm kind of concerned that mice might have a natural fear of snakes and this might not work so we're going to have to test it out. Now unfortunately YouTube really started cracking down on YouTube creators saying their videos aren't advertiser friendly so I have to make now a politically correct version and that's this video. So instead of testing this out on real mice I'm going to use this finger puppet named Snowflake. What's going to happen is the mice come along really want that peanut butter so they stick their head all the way in that snake's mouth and then it clamps down and it looks like a snake holding on to a mouse pretty cool now if you want to see this actually work with real mice check out the video tomorrow where i set up motion cameras and don't use a finger puppet i use real mice so like i said this style of trap may not be the most efficient but i think it would sell just because of the snake there people like snakes or don't like snakes and it'd be pretty funny to have a snake in the corner of your house that's actually a mouse trap Feel free to take this idea and market it. I'd love to see people start selling snake-shaped mouse traps on eBay or other places. And uh, check out that video tomorrow to see how it works with real mice.